We're back now with Dr. Darian with a question for the ER doctor right here. What's the difference between high blood sugar and low blood sugar, and how can you tell if you have either one? Love these moments because it helps me also share some words that I think are helpful to understand when you hear them, especially if you're in the emergency room. So high blood sugar we call hyperglycemia. Hyper means elevated. Low blood sugar we call hypoglycemia. Low hypo. Okay, that just we got it out of the way. So what are the reasons why? Number one, you don't have to have a diagnosis of diabetes to have problems with your blood sugar. There are many reasons why many people come in with low blood sugar, for example, hypoglycemia, and most often it includes what we imagine, just not eating, not getting enough nutrition. When you have low blood sugar, we all know how that makes us feel. It makes us feel irritable and sometimes gives, a, gives us a headache. Sometimes you feel like you're sweaty, you're shaky. When your blood sugar goes high, it can also look very similar, but some of the symptoms you want to pay attention to are excessive thirst, if you're urinating a lot, and the definitive way to understand whether or not it's too high or too low, if you can imagine, testing your blood sugar, talking to your provider to make sure that your numbers are stable. So um, let me just get this straight. So the whole hangry thing is actually just my blood sugar is low? It most likely <laughs> is. The whole hangry thing is most often because your blood sugar is low. Once your brain needs that sugar, it's going to send you into that rage or uh, discomfort. I wouldn't say rage. <laughs> I was looking at Eva. I don't want people to think that she's rageful when she's hangry. My husband would disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also about how do you fix it. So when your blood sugar is low, if it's really low, especially if you have a diagnosis of diabetes, you're taking insulin, you want to reach for quick sugars like candy or juice and then take something that creates that long, stable sugar like a complex carb, like whole wheat bread. When your blood sugar is too high, that happens after you eat, but if it remains high after a few hours, you should talk to a provider to make sure you get to the bottom of it. I know a lot of people reach for bananas and orange juice. Very smart, especially when your blood sugar is low. Again, when that number is high and it stays high, that can wreak havoc on your organs, so it's really important to keep those numbers in check. All right.